Hello there, Multicrafters! Welcome back to a brand new Multicraft video! X-Realm here, and today I'm gonna be showing 39 Multicraft tips and tricks you should know about to use whenever you need them. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to join the Multicraft community, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos, and let's... Begin! Spawners spawn mobs like we can with mob eggs and spawn entity, but besides all of the ways to spawn mobs you are familiar to, there is one block that can spawn unknown objects. To get it, use slash give and type the command slash give me creatura spawn node. Now how this works is to place it down, then after a few seconds, it'll spawn the unknown object. Just don't have lots of these around as it makes painful lag. By the way, I want to warn you about something. If you keep secret items in your world or server, then it might be destroyed by them. The items in these videos are just for entertainment, but not to be kept. So if your server randomly stops working, don't ask me for help. So I suggest you remove all secret items from your servers and single player world if you don't want them deleted. By deleted, I mean stop working. Leaves can slow you down, and snow tops on top of snow can slow you even more. But that's not the slowest. If you walk on snow with cobwebs, you become even slower, but that's not even the slowest. The slowest way you can travel in Multicraft is by wearing full emerald armor, drinking a potion of slug, and walking on snow with snow tops. This is a normal flower pot, and this is a mega flower pot. It's even bigger than the normal one. If you try getting the big flower pot, it just gives you a small one. The bigger flower pots are also a falling node, and you can place them with world in it. When you place a falling block on top of an object you can't go through, a type of bug happens. The falling block will shake, like if it were quicksand because basically the object is supporting the falling block from falling to the ground. This bug also makes the falling blocks unminable. The anvil from the workbench repairs tools. Just add a broken tool over there and a hammer over here. Now your tool is going to be fixed, but the hammer is going to be breaking. The carver from the workbench carves blocks into different shapes. This doesn't apply to all blocks. So that's what the carver and the anvil do. Pretty simple. To make an infinite water source in single player, you only have to add two waters like that. But in multiplayer, you have to find a water source generated by the world or placed down by a player. Buckets in single player place down water sources, but in multiplayer, they place down water sources poured. That's why the buckets in multiplayer do not give infinite water sources. By the way, shout out to Caleb! Boats are the main transportation for rivers and oceans. But what about if you wanted to ride one on land? or on something that's not liquidish. Here's my solution, you ride a boat on top of doors or objects, including fence gates and other blocks. Check out my pinned comment, and if you're one of those people who want to ride a boat on lava, that's a bad idea. Beacons cannot be placed besides each other, but there's a trick that can push a beacon to another one using pistons. Too many beacons together can cause some serious lag. Non-gravity potion levitates you and a gravity potion pulls you down. The immortal potion makes you unkillable. If you drink invisibility potion, you become invisible. Low jumping potion makes you jump low, and high jumping potion makes you jump high. In the outdoors, night vision potion lets you see in the dark. Healing potions heal you from damage, but healing 2 heals you faster than healing 1. Potion of slug slows you. Potion of running increases your speed. Bottles are just to make potions in a brewing machine. Breath potion lets you breathe when you're suffocating. Potions of mana restore your mana faster. Wolves can be tamed as wolfhounds with raw meat and bones. To make your wolfhound sit, you sneak and press it. If you command your wolfhound to heal, it will follow you. And if you command it to go forward, it'll just go anywhere it wants. You can find wolfhounds pretty much anywhere. Oil can be placed on the floor, but now, with oil puddles, oil can be placed on ceilings and walls. The command to get the puddle is slash give me oil puddle. 
beehives generate on trees and they drop honeycombs that come in handy for crafting candles. When a random bee finds the beehive, it'll use it to produce honey, same with apiaries by the way. To collect honey from beehives, tap it with an empty bottle. If there is more bees, the honey production will be faster. Only 8 bees can produce per beehive and apiary. And if you punch their beehive or apiaries, they'll come to sting you. So that's not a good idea. So you want to cloak your name tag, first drink an invisibility potion, then ride a horse. Now your name tag will be invisible, but not forever. After the effect runs out, your name tag will reappear. When you find a spawner, don't break it, instead turn into a farming machine. First find a dungeon with a spawner. Then turn that dungeon into your farm. Then get some micro slabs and cover 3 blocks far from the spawner, including the corners. Then leave one hole without a micro slab. That's where the monsters will spawn. Now make some kind of roof like this and wall like that. And down here you add a hopper. Then add a powerful light source on the ceiling. Now cover up the whole spawner. Now monsters are gonna spawn in this gap and drop anything into the hopper for you to collect. By the way, you can also add a chest. Here's a clear design. You can pause it at any angle so you can make it yourself. The default characters in Multicraft are the male and female and they're black versions. And according to rumors, the default character's name is Luke. But that hasn't been confirmed yet. And if you didn't know, all the four default characters have a block. A block of them that you can place down but not mine it. It's only obtainable through slash give and I have the command. The command for this one is slash give me character underscore dark. And the command for this one is slash give me character underscore female underscore dark. For this one it's only slash give me character. And finally this one is slash give me character underscore female. When you place a lot of them together, a weird shadow appears. You can collect these characters by blowing them up with TNT. Characters can be pushed or pulled by pistons. To see the full character, I have to place them down without support underneath them. Alright, so Multicraft has heads and characters? Am I gonna find a leg next? Well, Multicrafters, that was it for today's Multicraft Bill and Mine Tips and Tricks video. I will be uploading some more in the future, so stay tuned for that. By the way, thank you guys so much for 13k subs. You guys are awesome. Okay, Multicrafters, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to join the Multicraft community, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos. And until next time, my Multicrafters. Oh.